Well, is it true that no good deed goes unpunished? So I have this heater for a customer that I'm just probably gonna try to do a no charge repair on this unit just to do my part of goodwill. Um, taking a look at it, model CZ442, 1500 watts max, date August of 2015. So it's nine years old, um, does have the little safety switch down there in case it gets knocked around. So got the kilowatt set up here and uh, of course the cord is going to get right in the way. Let's go ahead and move it over to amps. Am I on amps? I can't tell. Oh, there's amps. Okay. And let's see if the fan runs. And the fan runs. 0.28 amps. Does the heater do anything? Well, there's two amps. Thermostat does work. Light does work. So it's got low and high. Seems to be working. If I can switch this into watts, possibly. There we go, 940 watts. So the heater part is working. One thing I did notice, however, it needs a really, really good cleaning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cool it down. And then I'll try to get the back off. I'll try to show you first. So it is in the cool down stage right now. One moment. Okay, let's see if I can, I think that's fresh. Nah, I can't really see much inside there. but uh, it is severely caked up with hair and gunk and stuff. And uh, some of the little ceramic grates that in the radiator are virtually completely plugged. I wonder if I can get a walkie-talkie light down in there. And not too terribly easily. Well, let's go ahead and pull it back off. It sounds like the motor might need a droplet of oil are these some kind of special tamper resistant screw? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and pop the top. Once you pop, you can't stop. Okay, screws are out. One, two, three. And number four right there. All right, how does this thing... Oh, like that. And uh, yeah, it needs a little bit of a cleaning, I would say. I wonder if I can pull this whole heating element portion out of it. The switch looks okay up in here. Needs a good blowing to get all the crap out of there, but I am happy to see that it's an actual snap switch. So that will last much, much longer Let's see if I can turn it. So yeah, that, that's a fairly good quality switch. At least in my estimation. Well, let's go ahead and try to get the fan assembly out. Well, let's see, how do we get this out of here? It's got too many wires stuffed up in there. I should get my electric drill, but I had to take a little trip and took it with me and it's still packed. So a very nice little safety switch right there, just in case it were to get too hot. It'll snap open. Now, hopefully, with that removed, this might lift up and we can get some of that hair off of there. Nasty, nasty. But perhaps you can see what I was talking about. Maybe we can pull the blade off of that fan. Either that or I wonder if this whole ceramic 
element. Yeah, it does. Just lifts out. Okay. Well, that'll make cleaning a breeze. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, I think I found the problem. I'm betting that shouldn't be there like that. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get the fan out of here and uh, put a couple droplets of oil in it. Well, if it's going to be a no charge repair, I might as well do it upright, huh? Uh, okay. Well, we'll figure that out when we get there. So I'm wondering, yikes, this thing has got some serious gunk in it, holy moly. At least the fan is good. Now is this right hand or left hand thread? I am so surprised that the fan blades are held on with hardware. And a lock washer. Hey, more hair, yay. Wow. Well, the hair did unscrew, so that's good. Probably not gonna go ahead and service this motor just because it seems to rotate just fine. Just gonna add some oil to it just to make it work. And then of course we'll have to clean the biscuit off of that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this mess and then uh, <laughs> take this out in the garage and blow it out. One moment. Well, certainly looks a lot, a lot better, with the exception of this that I found. It appears to be uh, the main feed into the power switch, and uh, it's not really bad, bad, but it's been warm. Not catastrophic, but all the cat hair is blown out of everything. Um, appears there is maybe... No, I guess not. It's fine on the workbench. Uh, all the dust has been blown out of both sides of the motor. And the radiator is completely cleaned at this point. So look at that. You can actually see light through it. Well, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you can see light through it now. I think it's going to be much, much better. I don't think there's any directionality to this. As far as I know, it just goes in there. All right, let's get this thing all thrown back together. I'm just going to strip this wire back and uh, retin it like they had it and plug it back in there into the little slot there. Hopefully things will be good. Well, hopefully this will be a little bit better. I took a piece of a 12 gauge solid copper and soldered the existing red wire onto that and then plugged it into the terminal. And I worked it around a bunch of times to scuff up the contact. So hopefully uh, that will provide a little more heat sinking in case there is going to be heat generated. So I'm um, thinking I'm going to just grab a piece of paper and run it through the contacts right there, as well as the safety switch right there. And then I think this thing is going to be good once again. Well, I know it's probably hard to see, but I did go ahead and clean the contacts right there with a piece of paper. And I did go ahead and clean the contacts on the thermal cutout switch. So let's plug this thing in and see if it's going to work. Okay, we are in the watt setting. Wow, what a difference. That thing is moving some air now. 
So low. So we've got about 400 watts on low. Still heating up. Definitely warm coming out of it now. Let's try high. Claims 1500 watts. Now we're up to almost 900. No, 935 watts. That's not bad. Definitely moving some air now. Man, this thing moved no air previously. None at all. So if I lift this up, will it shut off? Yep. That's the safety switch. Yeah. You can just you can tell by the sound of it how much more air it's moving than it was. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the cover back on it. Let's go ahead and switch this off. I just want to see if that terminal is getting warm. And no, it is not. It is ice cold even under full load for just a few seconds. Uh, anyhow, that's going to be it. The repair on the uh, Howard Burger Company Incorporated Ceramic Heater Comfort Zone, 120 volts, max 1500 watts, nine years old. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that. It looks almost brand new. Whoever owned this take took really good care of it. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can repair your heater as well. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.